Hello YouTube, this is Raw Power, and this Frostpunk video is going to be a guide on gathering posts. So I decided to make this video because I've been seeing some posts on the Reddit, uh, the Frostpunk Reddit, and also the Frostpunk community on Steam about gathering posts. Uh, you know about whether it's worth it building gathering posts since you can assign workers directly to each pile, etc. So I decided to investigate and make a few tests and then make a video with the results of my tests uh, to clarify how gathering posts work. So one of the first questions I could I can quickly answer here is whether it's uh, there is any difference in assigning regular workers or children to each gathering post. If, for example, children would gather more slowly or anything like that. So the quick answer to that question is no, there is no difference. So uh, if I assign 10 workers to this gathering post here, you can see that they're going to be able to gather 20.4 units of coal per hour. And if I assign the same number of children, 10 children, they're going to be able to gather exactly the same amount, 20.4 uh, units of coal per hour. So there is no difference between having workers or children gathering stuff in case you have the child labor law assigned. Now, uh, the next part of this guide is a little bit more complex. And it's about how many piles of resources your gathering post has access to, and also how many types of resources your gathering post has access to. Because what happens is when your gathering post is in range of a different number of piles and with different types of resources on each pile, it's going to split its gathering rates uh, among each pile. And the way this happens didn't, didn't seem very intuitive to me, and I still, it's, it's still the part I'm confused about. But I'm going to show you uh, what I found. So basically, let's just start with this first gathering post. It's in range of only one single coal pile. So like I showed you, it's 20.4 units of coal per hour uh, if it has access to only coal. Now, this second gathering post is in range of two piles of coal. And you can see it has double the amount of coal to, to harvest from than the first one, which only had 500. This one has... 1,000 units, units of coal to gather from, and this means that these gathering posts, if I, if only this gathering post was gathering coal and this one was off, uh, this gathering post would deplete these two piles of coal at half the speed as the first one, because this one would split its uh, gathering bet between the two piles evenly. Now uh, things start to get a little bit less intuitive when we get to this third gathering post. So this one has uh, access is in range of two uh, coal piles and one steel wreckage. So if I assign 10 workers to it on hard difficulty, you can see that it's going to gather 16.3 units of coal per hour and 0 0.9 units of steel per hour. Now, this sounds a little not intuitive to me because uh, when I was gathering only coal, I was getting 20.4 units per hour. So uh, this uh, gathering post is splitting coal and steel wreckages uh, in a rate of two-thirds coal and one-third wreckage, uh, one-third steel, right? Because it's two piles of coal and one pile of steel. So I was expecting that the rate of gathering of coal to be exactly two-thirds of what it was on this one, right? So two-thirds of 20.4 is 13.8, I think, or 13.6 or something like that. But instead, it's gathering 16.3. So it's getting around three units more than I would intuitively guess. And I don't know why that is. The game splits the production using a certain calculation that I don't know what it is. Uh, probably the game tends to, to focus more on coal, so to prefer gathering a little bit more coal. To make this a little bit uh, clearer, uh, if you look at the rate of gathering steel, it's 0 0.9. So let's see what happens in a gathering post that is in range of only steel. So this gathering post is in range of a single uh, steel wreckage. It has 49 units to gather from that uh, wreckage. And if I assign 10 workers, it's going to be able to gather 4.3 units of steel per hour from that wreckage, right? Now, uh, so let's say that 4.3 per hour is our base. It's how, many, how much the gathering post gathers if it's gathering only steel. So if we go back to that third gathering post that is in range of two coals and one steel, it's 0 0.9. But I would expect this value to be a little bit higher. I would expect it to be one third of 4.3. 
and one third of 4.3 is uh, 1.4, I think, something like that. But instead, it's gathering 0 0.5 units less. So, like I said, it's prioritizing gathering a little bit more coal than I would expect, and a little less steel than I would ex expect. And I don't know why that happens. Um, but moving on, this fourth gathering post is now in range of these four piles. Uh, two piles of coal, one steel wreckage, and one pile of wood crates. And if I assign 10 workers to it, now it's going to split in an even less intuitive way, kind of, I guess. Uh, because now it's 50% coal, 25% steel, 25% wood, right? Or two fourths, uh, one fourth, one fourth, right? Um, so it's gathering 12.2 units of coal, which is still not very intuitive because it should have been half of what I would get from this one, which is 20.4. So it should be 10.2, but instead it's 12.2. So again, it's prioritizing coal, right? And it should be one fourth or 25% of this one, which is 4.3 steel, but and 25% of 5.3 is 1.1 more or less, 1.07, something like that. But it's, it's uh, instead it's getting 1.3, so it's actually gathering a little bit more steel. It's prioritizing steel, and actually the rate of uh, gathering wood is very low on this one. It's 0 0.6. If I were to look at this gathering post that is in range of only one wood uh, pile of wood crates, it actually gathers six wood per hour. So that's 100% uh, rate of gathering wood, like uh, how much you would get if your gathering post was in range of only wood. So I would expect this gathering post to gather 25% of 6, which is 1.5, but instead it's gathering a lot less than that, 0.6. I don't know why the game does that and which calculation it uses to prioritize uh, you know, coal over steel and then coal and steel over wood. But it's something to keep on your mind. Like if you want to gather a little bit more coal uh, or a little bit more wood, it might not be a good idea to put your gathering post uh, in range of a lot of other types of resources as well. So that's the biggest part of the guide over here. Just showing you guys how the gathering posts work when they have different, when they are in different ranges of different types and amounts of resources. Um, the second part, which is a little bit uh, quicker, is showing you the rates in the different uh, difficulty levels. So on hard level, we, hard difficulty, we could see that for coal, the rate was 20.4 for, uh, uh, for coal, like I said, and 4.3 for steel and 6 for wood, right? But if you go to medium difficulty, uh, we can see that the rates are a little bit different. So for coal, uh, let me unassign these workers here. So for coal, it's going to be 24. So it's uh, it's more than than in hard difficulty as you would expect. And and then if you go for steel, it's going to be five. And if you go for wood, it's going to be seven. So those rates are a little bit more than on hard difficulty. And of course, when you start splitting, it splits in a different way, but uh, proportional to what I said on hard mode for these two here. So a little bit more for of each but still on the same proportions as you saw in hard mode and if you go to easy mode uh, it's similar you know similar proportions but higher amounts again you know so basically for coal it's going to be 27.6 uh, for steel it's going to be 5.8 per hour uh, is it correct yeah 5.8 per hour and for wood it's going to be 8.1 per hour and then when you start splitting it's again higher amounts but the same proportions you saw on hard difficulty. One thing that I didn't mention on hard difficulty that is also kind of interesting is that uh, this uh, gathering post has access to uh, what you would guess as being one-third steel and this gathering post has access to what you would guess as being one-fourth steel. So technically speaking this fourth gathering post should be gathering less steel than this gathering post but that's not what actually happens like this one is getting ring 1.2 steel per hour uh, and has access to these three piles but this one actually gathers more steel because it's 1.7 steel per hour which again i don't find it to be so intuitive uh i forgot to show you that on hard mode but on hard mode is exactly the same proportion just 
little lower amounts, but the same thing happens basically. So this gathering post here um, is going to gather uh, 0.9 steel per hour, and I would expect this gathering post to gather less steel per hour, but instead it gathers more steel per hour, it gathers 1.3 per hour. So don't exactly know how the game decides this proportion and priority. Maybe this gathering post gets more steel just because it's connected to wood, and then the game puts wood at a very low priority, and then puts steel at a medium priority and coal at a high priority. Whereas this gathering post just has two priorities to split, so it's could, it puts coal on a high priority and steel on a low priority. I don't know, but just a few things to keep in mind uh, when you start splitting your production on gathering posts. But to summarize, it is worth it um, building gathering posts because you always get more out of the gathering post than you would get if you just put workers directly on the pile. So for example, if I put 10 workers on this pile, which is the same amount of workers you can put on a gathering post, I would get 10.2 coal per hour. But on the gathering post, it's 20.4, so it's actually double the amount you can get from the pile per worker, right? I know in the pile you can assign more people, so if you assign all 15 people, you actually have 15.3 here. But if you assign 10, which is the same amount from the gathering post, you're actually getting half the rate of gathering the, uh, as you would get from the gathering post. Uh, and that also the gathering post has uh, plus one building insulation, whereas the pile has no insulation. The pile kind of works like a, a, a building, kind of, because you can actually set uh, extended uh, shifts and emergency shifts to it, but it doesn't have any levels of insulation because it's not actually a building, right? But it kind of acts like a building in the way you can assign workers and shifts to it, but when you have an actual building like the gathering post, you have an insulation. So I can always see advantages to building gathering posts. Just keep in mind uh, the, their mechanics and how they kind of split their priorities of gathering in kind of weird ways. That's all for this video. I hope you were able to learn some things about gathering posts of Frostpunk. Keep having fun with the game and see you next time.